How's it going guys? My name's Austin and this is Second Real Cinema, a series of videos dedicated to discussing less talked about movies. Movies that I feel are underrated, overlooked, or that have undergone a critical reappraisal in recent years. It's a very broad concept that's essentially just an excuse for me to talk about movies that I love. For this first episode, I wanted to talk about a personal favorite that I rarely hear anyone talk about, and that's Ronald Bronstein's Frownland. Most of you probably know Ronald as the honorary third Safdie brother. He's collaborated with them as a writer and editor on most of their films, and was also the lead in their 2009 movie, Daddy Long Legs. I don't think you have any sense of what it's like for me right now, you know? This is what it's like being inside my brain right now. But before teaming with Josh and Benny, he wrote and directed Frownland, a very low-budget independent film that I think contains the same DNA as the Safdie Brothers thrillers, Good Time and Uncut Gems. It's uncomfortable, chaotic, and genuinely anxiety-inducing in a way not many films are. Essentially plotless, the film focuses on Keith, a social outcast constantly struggling to communicate in a series of interactions that, at times, are legitimately painful to watch. It's like that old cliche about wanting to look away from a car wreck but not being able to. That's exactly how I feel watching this guy flail in every situation he finds himself in. I'm not sure he expresses one complete thought throughout the entire film. I made myself a promise when I was a kid that I would, I would look in the mirror and tell myself I would never ever live in the same persecution and hit your voice. I made myself a promise I'd never be the, I made myself a promise I'd never be the giving tree and I would never... When I was a kid, I made myself a promise. It causes me to feel mixed emotions as I watch. I do genuinely feel bad for this guy, but at the same time, I completely understand the frustration of the characters around him. The film also gives us a glimpse into the life of Keith's roommate Charles, who's a total prick, but also socially inept in his own ways. These two performances are among my favorites of all time. The way they play off each other is so perfect and just creates so many great interactions that are stressful but amusing to watch. You know, I mean, I, you know, the, the, the Bills is just that, you know, I mean, you know, it, it's almost, you know. No, I don't know. You've said you know about 25 times and I can, I can promise you one thing, I don't know. Shot by Sean Price Williams on 16mm, the grainy cinematography really elevates the film's scuzzy aesthetic. There's nothing pretty about the Shaw composition. Bronstein gets up close and personal with these unpleasant characters, ensuring that we feel their anxieties as well. Paul Grimstad, who plays Charles, also provides a synth score to the film that I really love. It has an almost sci-fi, alien-like quality to it, which works so well for the film and what it's going for. At times it feels like a horror movie, but I also can't understate just how funny it is. At least to me. It depends on your perspective. This guy's like an emissary from the world of the test. Wow, that's really clever. I mean, you, you see what I mean? I mean he's, it's as if he's like a delegate or something from this, this Kafka-esque world. Oh, Jesus. I mean, I feel nostalgic for kind of a Kafka-esque universe. Yeah. Yeah? Yeah. I'm personally a big fan of disturbing and discomforting movies, so this is a personal favorite. It's right up my alley. I love watching tense situations play out on film, and they're even more captivating to me when the characters involved aren't quite equipped to deal with them. That said, it is somewhat of an acquired taste, but with the success of intense, anxiety-inducing films like Uncut Gems and Good Time, I'm confident that Frownland could also find a larger audience if people give it a chance. What do you guys think of Frownland? Have you seen it? Am I a sicko for enjoying uncomfortable films so much? Let me know your thoughts in the comments. Be sure to like and subscribe, and go check out Artwork Pictures on Instagram for more movie content. Thank you for listening. Take care.